everybody. Good morning. This is Tyler with Boost Junkie Media and today I'm going to be bringing you a video. Uh, we're going to be installing a set of the Opt 7 running light slash turn signals um, on, the, on the orange S550 here. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm going to do. The plan is to drop the belly pan off the car. This is a performance pack car. So it's got a belly pan underneath. I'm hoping if I just drop that belly pan uh, it's a bunch of seven millimeter screws. I'm hoping that'll be enough to um, get up in there and unplug the harness and take out a couple of the screws and clips and stuff that'll let me get in there. So I'm gonna show you guys as I go along here what I'm doing and uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes well. All right, so here we are. So this is what we're doing. So this is, this whole pan here is the belly pan. This is what I'm talking about. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zip all this off. So there's these screws right here, all along here, like this. And there's not a bunch of them. There's like 30 of them, I think. And then a few clips over like here, plastic clips. Um, those all come out. This whole belly pan will come off and I'm hoping that's enough to let me get up in here. This is what we're taking out is this guy right here. And that whole piece gets replaced with the OP7 uh, sequencing unit. So hopefully, yeah. So here we go. All right, guys. So as you can see, I uh, hopefully you can see it's a little dark, but I now have the liner off under here. Um, the issue is, and I totally forgot with my car being whippled, the reservoir for the intercooler mounts right here. It's a big silver tank. And so that is right in the way of getting to our light up in there. So what that means is at least for this side, the fender liner has got to come off, the inner fender liner, um, which means the wheels got to come off. And honestly, after looking at it, I think it's gonna be easier to just go ahead and take the fender liner off as well. So I'm probably gonna remove that also. Um, it's really not hard. I've had it off before. It's just clips. I just hate taking them off because I'm always afraid I'm going to break them. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to go ahead and take the fender liner off. Let me start on the uh, driver's side here first. Once I get that all done, um, then I will be back with you to kind of show you what we're doing. So be back with you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and as you can see, I've got the fender liner completely out. And I know I went ahead and jumped ahead a little bit. Um, so here you can see this is the tank for the Whipple right here. So as you can see, the that big hole right there is where the whole um, fog light turn signal assembly is. And this is it right here. So what we did was we had to take out some screws. There was a screw here, 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 and a screw here on the inside of the car. So with some finagling with some wrenches, I was able to get all those out. And then this whole assembly pulls out. And what you can see is you see some notches here and along underneath here and along here and here. And there's these tabs in the car right in here. There's a tab there. There's a tab there there's a tab there and there's a tab there and those fit in those notches and then your bosses for your screws are here 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 and here so there's four screws and one two three four clips or tabs that hold that whole assembly in so what you do is you get the whole assembly out then you got to swap out the uh turn signal piece and that's these four so you take you take this one out here you take this one out, you take this one out, you take this one out, and this whole assembly will come out, and this new assembly I have in is the new light. So here is the old stock light uh, turn signal that was in there. So I took those four out, removed this, put the new assembly into this fog light housing, uh, this whole housing, and then tightened those down. So that's where we're at. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install this whole piece here back into the car, we're gonna clip all those clips in and put all the screws back in. Actually, before I do all that though, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up in there and I'm gonna turn it, uh, plug it in and I'm gonna turn my uh, turn signal on and just make sure it works before I put all this back together. 
So I'll be back with you here in just a few after I, uh, after I get all this done, we'll show you the outcome. All right, so as you guys might not, might not be able to see, we've got our piece back in. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, we've got it all hooked up, bolted back in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on back on, turn the car on here. So this is drive mode. As the car will be driving down the road, it's gonna look like that. And you can see that I haven't done the other side yet, so the stock one is there. See how it's yellow? This one is white. They're switchbacks. But when you turn the cigarette, or when you turn the cigarette, when you turn the turn signal on, they turn yellow and they sequence. So pretty cool. These are the op sevens. So we're gonna go ahead and finish buttoning up this side and then do the other side. Well guys, we are all finished. There is the final product. As you can see, the markers with the lights on are now white, no more yellow. But when the signals are on, they do turn yellow. They are switchbacks and they sequence just like the tail lights. So pretty nice, very nice quality. Um, I have not seen anybody having issues with these, like people are the Diodynamics and the Raxium stuff, which is why I've, up until now, I have not done any of those, because I don't want something that I'm gonna have continual problems with. Um, so hopefully these will last. Hey, what's up everybody? Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today I just kinda wanted to uh, kind of finished the previous video. Yes, it's been a couple of days since I filmed the Op7 video and I realized I never did an outro. So this is your outro. Um, so basically you saw the video, we did the Op7 lights. Uh, so far they've been great. I drove the car a couple days since I put them in and so far so good, no issues. So if you guys like the look of those, um, they're called Opt7, O-P-T-7. And there's a couple different versions. There's a frosted, there's a uh, blacked out, and there's a clear. I have the blacked out ones. Uh, that way you don't have to tint them or whatever. But yeah, they're great lights. So if you like those, you know, pick yourself up a set. Um, and thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if you can, please give me a subscribe and a like on this video. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know, you know, what you like. And don't forget to hit that bell icon um, so you'll get notified of my future videos. But with that being said, we'll catch you guys later. Keep it boosted.